Hey YouTube, this is Retro Gaming Master, and I'm going to bring you my very first video on YouTube. And I'm going to try and help the folks that are setting up their main and don't understand why some of the games that they're putting in don't have all of the original arcade sounds. As some of you may already know, the main that's on RetroPie is an older version of main usually. And for the particular version that I'm using here, you need 0.375B ROM set for your ROMs in order for it to work. Well, on those older ROMs, a lot of the times on games like Donkey Kong, we'll use an example, you'll get some of the sound, but you don't get all of the sound. What we're going to show you here today is how you can get all of the sounds back into the game so that you get the genuine arcade experience. Now, to show you what I'm talking about, we're going to load up Main, and we're going to load up Donkey Kong. As you can see, you get some of the sounds here. You're loading up your credits, you're getting sounds. Let's start the game. So far, so good. But as you can see, you don't get the sound of the I-beams dropping. Also, when Mario starts walking, you're not getting the sound of him walking. So what we're going to show you is how you can get all of that back. First thing you need to do is have your RetroPie on. And then you're going to need to connect to a computer on the network as well. And we're going to show you what you have to do from that point. What you need are files that are going to be inside. You're going to have to find them online. And those files will need to be put into the emulator folder for MAME. And I'll show you where here in a second. Okay. The files that you're going to need are called sample files. You can find them using a simple Google search. Um, they're available if you were to type in Donkey Kong sample file or main sample files. You'll be able to find them fairly easily. And what you need to do is you need to open your start, go to computer, and with your RetroPie running, you're going to need to click up here delete that out and type in backslash backslash retropie now once you're into your retropie you're going to have to click on your ROMs folder open it up and then I'm using main for all is what I'm running my main games under. As you can see, toward the top, you're going to have one folder that says artwork and one that says samples. You're going to need to open up your sample file. And then all you need, as you can see, I have several in here already, but I was missing the Donkey Kong file. Open up, find your Donkey Kong file, and you literally just need to drop this into your sample file you're going to get notice it's not going to copy without all its properties sometimes that's fine it's not going to give you a problem as you can see Donkey Kong is now in here now we're going to close this out we'll close this out and that's all we had to do now we're going to go back to the RetroPie and as long as we have everything set right which we will then you'll have all your sounds back in Donkey Kong. Okay, YouTube. We're back at our RetroPie. We've installed our file, our sample file. But, it's not going to work until we restart Emulation Station. So you're going to want to hit Start, go down to Quit, and select Restart Emulation Station. Yes, we really want to restart. 
as long as we've done this correctly, once the emulation station starts again, we should be able to go back in to main. We'll go there. We're going to page down until we get to Donkey Kong. Oops, went too far. It gets a little carried away. Okay. And we're going to open up Donkey Kong. credits in. This time when we press start, however, so you can hear, there's those eye beams going down. And this time you can hear Mario. So all of our sounds are back in on Donkey Kong. This will work on any of the ROMs that require those files. Uh, Galaxian is one of them I believe that does. Galaga is one of them I believe that does, uh, as well as Asteroids. Um, there are several ones that are out there where you need that to get all of your sounds to where they're operating correctly. Okay, YouTube, um, once again, bear with me. This was my first video. Uh, that being said, if you could like and subscribe if this helped you at all, it would be appreciated. And we're hopefully going to be doing some more videos on setting up main itself for getting your ROMs working. Sometimes there are uh, different emulators you're going to have to pick through your RetroPie in order to get one to work. Um, I have the CPS-1 and the CPS-2 um, ROMs working through the arcade uh, file, which some people are having difficulty getting that set up. We're going to try and make a video on that as well. And later on, uh, as you can probably tell in this video, it's just running on a monitor that I have it plugged into with a set of speakers that are USB powered. Later toward the spring, I'm intending to build a bar top arcade cabinet and we're going to record that as well so that uh, you can see step by step how to do that, where we got our parts from. Um, it shouldn't be difficult, knock on wood, but uh, if you're interested in any of that, like and subscribe. We will be uh, running that later on. Thanks a lot. We appreciate you watching. Bye.